Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to break down how to puppy press, which is a great method of pressing if you're working towards full press handstand. Puppy press though, for me when I was first learning it, it was a little um, awkward in the sense that because it's asymmetrical, you kind of got to figure it out in your body in order to make it happen. But then once you do, you'll realize that it is a lot easier than some of the other presses like straddle press or pike press and things like that. So I'm going to show you a couple of different angles. I'm also going to show you how to work it with a block as well. Obviously, like all presses, the more open you are in your hips and your hamstrings, the easier the press is going to be. So I'm going to show you from the side first. And I'm going to show you puppy press starting with feet pretty close together. You can also start in a wide-legged forward fold and then puppy press from here. Or you can start with your feet together and puppy press from here. Feet together, a little bit easier just because your hips are already starting pretty high. So for puppy press, just like any press, you'll have your hands down on the ground, setting them up like you would for handstand. But then you really want to protract your shoulders, meaning you spread the shoulder blades apart and then suck the belly in. And this just properly engages the core and you're really getting the most use out of your core when you find this protraction and rounding through the back. So from here, I'm going to lift one knee to my chest. So I'm squeezing my thigh to my belly a lot, so I'm feeling my hip flexors engage. Squeezing in, and then I rotate my thigh out. Okay? So I'm still pulling my thigh towards my head, and I'm not letting it open up like a three-legged down dog. Okay? So pulling my knee towards the side of my head. And then from here, I'm squeezing my heel to my butt. I come up onto my tiptoe as high as I can, lifting my hips as high as I can, still engaging through my core. And then from here, lean forwards a little, and then pull one hip up, kick a leg out, and then take it from there. So because, the reason why puppy press is easier than some of the other presses is because you have one hip higher than the other hip, and you're using that little bit of a lift through that one leg, that one hip, to pull you up a little bit more. So it just gives you a little bit of an edge. So I'm gonna show you now from a different angle, so you can see it again. Okay, so you start in the same way, and I'll start with my leg a little bit wider this time. Okay, but in the same way, I squeeze my knee to my belly and open it up to the side. Okay, so again, not here like three-legged down dog, pulling my knee towards the side of my head. I come up on onto my tiptoe, line up my shoulders over my wrists, squeeze everything in as much as possible, and then push, lean a bit, kick my leg out to the side, extend the other one, and then take it wherever I want to take it. So if you saw, as soon as I start to pick up my other hip, my hips level out first before I change my legs. Okay, so when you're starting your puppy press, your hips aren't level, because that's what's gonna help pull you up. But as soon as you lift that grounded foot, then you level out your hips, and then you create symmetry again in your body or wherever you wanna take it from there. So if you still find that it's really difficult to lift straight from the ground, you can use a block underneath your grounded foot as well. So I'll show you what that looks like. And you can use a block underneath your feet for any press to help you find that lift off. You'll just need likely a little bit more hamstring flexibility for this as well. Okay, but you'll start with your grounded foot on the block. And then from here, hands to ground, you set up in the same way. The reason why a block helps is because it elevates your hips even higher over top of you so that you don't have to lift through your core as much. So the block's just, again, giving you a little bit more of a boost, a little bit of an edge. So start in the same way. Thigh to belly, open it up. Tiptoe, lean a bit, kick wide, and come back down. Or do that a little better. Lean, kick out, straddle. Take it from there. <clears throat> so I highly recommend that you practice puppy press on both sides. I just showed you um, 
just one side, but same idea for both sides. Work them both, likely there's gonna be one side that's easier than the other, but when you're working puppy press, just take it one step at a time, but always remembering that you wanna compress your body as much as you can. So squeezing through your hip flexors, thigh towards belly, knee towards the side of your head, and then really engaging through the core to lift up as you press the floor away. The higher you can make your hips over top of you before takeoff, the easier it's gonna be to lift, which is why flexibility is so important. So I know I just gave you a little bit of information, um, but the biggest thing for this is you really won't start to figure it out until you do it. So give it a go, maybe try it with a block, maybe don't, but again, think about really squeezing that thigh towards the side of your body, knee towards the side of your head, hips as high as you can, and then really pressing the floor away and engaging your core for a liftoff. Thanks so much for listening to this tutorial, and I'll see you in